All right, so for the Model Y rear seat, we just have to remove the bench, and then we have to remove this right here, and then of course, the headrest on here, here, and also up here. So we're gonna go ahead and remove all that. What you wanna do is just pull up. I usually like putting my finger in between the felt right here and then the seat, and just pull up. And once you pull up, it just comes out. So once you get it off, you'll see that there's a really nice long cable right here. Um, in order to avoid having to disconnect all of this, there's one connector right here. Push. You're going to push this right here. You never want to pull the cable like this. You want to hold this down and pull this part of the clip. And once that's done, it dislodges the whole seat and we're going to just take it out gently. So in order to remove this little section right here, it's fairly easy. First, let's go ahead and push the seat down. Once you remove this cover, then go ahead and put it aside. It's gonna make access a lot easier. You're gonna go back to the center seat right here, and you're gonna pull this, this felt. And when you pull it from the corner, and you don't have to go all the way, you just kinda of go halfway. The only thing you're gonna be focused on is right here down the center area. It's a T20. And go ahead and loosen it up. And it's a screw about this long. And go ahead and push it back down. And once you go back to the other side, and you can see that this just pops up. It's a bunch of simple clips like this and it just removes straight back. We're gonna focus on getting this out. All you have to do is push this down. Once you get it all the way high up, this mechanism right here is pretty much the same thing on this side without the push. So in order to do that, you have to get a flathead that's small like this and insert it into this hole right here in the inner side. And once you insert it, you hold the other one and push it down and then it comes up. So once it releases, it is free and then it comes out very, very easily. This, the headrest is going to be exactly the same. This is the highest that it will go, okay? Unless you release the whole thing. So once you have it, you're gonna gently push it into this area, hold it down. And then once you release this, this is gonna also come up. And I'm gonna go to this side. Same thing, I'm gonna push it down. And the first one we're gonna be doing is going to be the center piece that goes underneath. You wanna start from the bottom. And you'll see that there's a little um, tag right here. And that's where, where these two plastic clips are, just to get give you an idea. You can see that you cut that in. And like so. It is a very tight fit. And as far as the Velcro goes, make sure it doesn't cover that little hole right here. Let's go ahead and do the, the center seat as well for the headrest. And in this case, you can see that there are holes for the metal bar. There's going to be a white tag right here and that's actually gonna to go to the top. So what we're gonna do is go insert it to the top first and kind of hook it. And once you do that, you should have a lot more room to get the rest of the area in. It is pretty tight. What I like to do is I kind of use my fingers and kind of massage it in into these areas. And from here on out, you're going to go ahead and focus on this insert first. This goes in as well, and then you can do one at a time. Push that in. Make sure the velcros are flat. So this is slightly tricky, but this is going to go around and inside like so. And it's going to go clip into this segment right here. So this is going to feel really, really tight, but once you get it, there we go. So we really have just two of these, but we're just going to show it to you once. The one with the stitching right here in the inside, just like this, is going to be in the front. So we're going to go ahead and just insert it through. And you want to make sure that you really pull. Don't pull the Velcro. There is a slight weak point there. And just like the other one, you're going to focus on the center first. And go all the way in. So, 
And there's one more Velcro right here. And you can see you want to pull it as far as you can and then go ahead and do that. Comparatively to the Model 3, these are harder foam. So when you're actually pulling the needle through, it's going to be a lot more difficult. So I recommend getting something like hard like this, like a jack pad, and you know, running it through all the way. There's these plastic brackets that go all around. So when you're actually poking the holes through, you cannot right. go through this. So whenever we're poking the holes, just keep that in mind and make sure you're understanding where it's going through. Before I actually put it on, I just want to show you where the points are. You got one, two, three, four points, like so, and then four points right here as well. These are going to be um, elastics that go through and clip into place. So we're going to go ahead and put it like this. All right, and just so you know where it is, it's about here, okay? So if you're looking at the seat right here, you want to put one right here, and you also want to put one roughly about here. So about the center point from this little section right here is where you want to put that second one. Why do we do this? If you don't put this in place, this is optional but highly recommended. Um, for the rear seat and the reason being is if you don't do that it is going to shift slightly from left to right. A couple of things to note. The back part of the seat is going to be here. You're actually going to pull through here first. Okay there is a foam component right here and you can also see this is still plastic right here. So This is not where you're trying to go through. You're actually trying to go through the side. So on the back part of the needle you're going to go through the side and then for the middle part you're going to actually aim for this one right here, and then if you look at the middle component right here, you're really going to aim for somewhere around here, okay? So when you're pushing through, you're not going to push through straight, you're actually going to go to the back. All right, let's start with the first hole that we're going to be focusing on. And you can see I'm going to go in between the seams right here. And once I have it in, I'm going to poke it through, and I'm going to go out sideways and thread it through. Cool. Now once you thread it through, you're going to go ahead and make sure that it doesn't uh, come out. So let's go ahead and do this section right here down the center and then kind of go in between right here again. And you see the angle that I'm going through? That's really where you're going for because if you do that, you can see that I'm actually pushing through all the way. You can use puck like this, and you could push through. Go ahead, you don't have too much thread. And if you have an, a plier like this, it helps a lot too, to just pull it out. So you can see the seat right here. On the first one, we actually threaded it through from the side. And then the second one, we went through this part of the foam. And this foam is a little bit harder to go through. So let's go ahead and do the other side. Go in between. Once you go in between, you're going to go ahead and push through. There you go. So it went through. So for the last little hole right here, now as soon as you go in between, you're going to go ahead and angle it this way and really focus on getting it under there and really push through it. I'll show you where it comes out. And then once you pull through, um, let me just show you. This is where it should come out. So you're kind of going off the side and that's what makes it a little bit easier, right? And I'm gonna go ahead and put it all the way through. I just need a little bit for my thread. So all four are down there and we're gonna be doing the exact same thing to the other side. So make sure at this point, do not let this fall because it will mess up your whole work. There you go. We're gonna finally fit it into place. You're gonna just fit the sides first. You see how easily that fit right here? And once you cut that side, you're gonna grab the other side and do the same. We have all the strings right here. So we got one, got two, got three. This one's gonna be pulled. And I'm not pulling it extremely hard yet. I'm just gonna make sure that it's in place, okay? 
I want to make sure that's over this. All right, so now let's talk about the straps, okay? There's elastic straps bringing the tension in, so it's really cupping all of those. So we have a bunch of clips that we provide, but you want to grab one of those clips, go through, and this is a very tight clip. And I actually did this for the demo, so I have some holes already made. Um, so I'm actually going to be using that same hole. So in this case, go ahead and put it through here. And just think about it, you're providing tension all across, right? So you want to have it pretty hard, not like Hulk hard, but, you know, just kind of pulling it through. And go ahead and go all the way around. Whenever you're doing the straps, one thing to, I'll clarify, you do not want it on the cables, okay? So you want to make sure that you're either on the hard foam or a plastic trim. And before I tie it or anything like that, let's take a quick look about how it looks, okay? So look at that. So very, very good placement for the most part. This lines up pretty well. I like this to move a little bit more, so I'm gonna go ahead and fix that. But as far as the alignment goes, this is good, this is good. So I might pull a little bit more on this side. And now that we have that, we're gonna go ahead and tighten this. Remember there's a loose cable right here, so make sure you're going underneath that and go ahead and pull hard. And we're gonna just do a clean, uh, I mean, it really doesn't matter as much what kind of knot you do. So you're just making sure that it doesn't unlatch, right? We're gonna go ahead and continue with the elastics. So you see that you have two right here. You wanna make sure that it doesn't have any, I guess like it's not twisted. And this case where this wraps around this corner. So one of them needs to really go down here. Okay, and we're gonna really stretch that across. This is actually the area of the seat belts right here. So you don't actually need to do um, any clips or you could use existing clips, but you want to spread it across like so. So this one, I'm going to be using this one. Just focus on putting it in this clip as well. All right, it's enough tension. I don't need a whole lot. And then this one, let's see. And there you go. Let's look at the other side to just make sure that it is exactly what we're looking for. And these are the results. But you want to make sure that this area is completely free. The main reason is it's pretty tight for the seatbelt as is. And once the seatbelts are on, it's actually going to go in a little bit and hide that. We're going to first tackle the seat right behind the driver's side or driver's side in the American standard, right? Um, but before we do so, we need to release the center seat. And there's a lever in the back. And once you pull it, it will come down like so. Be careful not to slam it down. There's no cushion in the bottom, so you don't want to indent the seat in any way. The other thing to keep in mind is this seat belt right here is going to go behind and then front afterwards. And I'll show you that in a quick second. So we're going to go ahead and put the seats in. Easiest way is to start from the top like so. You want to make sure the seat belt, you grab that top and go over it. Okay, there is an actual cut right down the middle on the zipper. And once you have the seat belt on like this, now you can put this in that circle. And once I have it fitted, you want to grab the bottom and really pull it down. Okay, and this will make sure that everything is starting to fit properly. And there's a couple corners that you're going to be focusing on. Um, and there are going to be holes right here and right here. So just make sure that you can pull this down and you can take a look at where it goes. We have to pull this underneath the seat all the way through. So let's go ahead and do that. There are two slits, so just make sure that both of them are through.
once you get an uh, once you get the velcro part through what I do is I bring it down just a little bit and you should be able to feel that all the way through and once you feel that you do your best to grab it so I got the piece right here you can see it kind of go through and make sure you have that other piece as well so I can feel it on the other side And this is going to be a pretty aggressive pull, just so you guys know. And then in this case, this is also gonna be pretty aggressive because this needs to line up with this hole right here. So what you wanna do at this point is it'll help to zip it up before we kind of move on. And we're gonna place it. Right, so I'm gonna really pull this. Before you pull this up, make sure that this is Velcro. Once you pull it back up, this actually feeds back in and it wants to come back. So before we do this, let's go ahead and pull this as hard as you can. And put it into place. Same thing for this. And there's gonna be some adjustments that we'll make. So for now, what I'm gonna do is just Velcro it for now and see if I can, uh, fix it and the trim tool works perfect for this because you're pushing that material all the way in. I'm gonna go ahead and bring this down just a little bit more and now I can pull this better and once I pull it you can see there we go. I mean you're gonna have to put some some decent gre elbow grease right here. All right so there's a straight stitching or it's just stitching around that means it's not gonna tuck in but if it doesn't it means they will tuck in so in this case this should tuck in right here so we're gonna go ahead and try to get this in and what I do is I start with the corner and then I use a trim tool to tuck it under so I kind of grab that corner and then tuck it in so grab that corner and go ahead and tuck it in Once you have this all the way in, it is a very, very tight fit. So the main tip that I'll give is really work your way in from the corner to corner. And what I like to do is I like to pull from some of these holes to really get it into place. And there's actually a lot of room right here. So once we get that down, we could actually probably pull it even further down if we wanted to, and that should help. So let's go ahead and do the other side as well. And there you go. Now everything looks OEM and go ahead and inspect some of these other areas. And this looks good to me. This lines up and this doesn't have any issues. Whenever I'm doing this, when you hear Velcro, that means that it's, you might need to adjust a little bit, but you can see right now, I'm not hearing any of that rubbing, right? So that's kind of what I'm looking for to make sure that you pulled it enough. If you didn't, you might have to pull a lot. It is a very, very large amount of force that you have to really, really pull in. So just keep that in mind and you might work up a sweat like I'm doing uh, when you're doing this. So let's go ahead and move on to the next one. And we start underneath. So once you have it down, same thing we did on the other side. We're really trying to pull it down first so it really fits in. And this little flat was gonna go underneath. And you can see where it should go. It's a very tight fit, so just keep that in mind. And there's very, very little spacing on this one, but you should be able to put your finger in there. I'm gonna lock that in place so it's easier for me. There you go. We're going to hold it. And at this point, we're gonna make sure that this is underneath. 
this little trim right here. Awesome. The main thing that you're looking for at this part is making sure that this um, cutout for the cup holder is going to align and making sure that when you're looking at it from the top standpoint, it's not showing any of the white, okay? And when you do this, you wanna go up and down a little bit. And I'm hearing some rubbing, of course, because there's a little bit more extra material, but you're not hitting, hearing any Velcro. And again, that's what I'm looking for. We're gonna go ahead and do the last piece, which is going to be here. So go ahead and lift this up and we're gonna bring the whole thing down. So just like the first seat right here, right behind the driver's side that we did, this is a very, very similar. It's going to go around this and then it's gonna go underneath the clips that hold the headrest. So let's go ahead and lodge the seat cover and let's go ahead and start putting it over. And you're going to loosely I'm going to just bring it down and just pull it down all the way as much as I can first. We're gonna go ahead and start getting the bottom parts a little bit better aligned. And this is pretty good. You can see that this is resting in the right place. So once that's good, we're gonna go ahead and feed the two Velcro strips right here through all the way so you can grab it from the back. So. There is a metal clip right here where the seat rests on. And you want to go underneath that instead of going over that, okay? So let's go ahead and make sure that this goes underneath that area. So once you do that, be careful with your fingers when you're doing this. And go ahead and push it all the way through. And once you feel like you got it through, you're going to grab it from the other side. It is a very tight fit in some cases. And if you have someone with small hands, it would help. But I can see, I can feel it. It's just hard to grab it. Once I put the seat down, I was able to grab it. So you can see the strip is right here. Great. So here are my two strips, the Velcro strips that I mentioned. We're gonna go ahead and start putting things into place as if it's gonna fit. I mean, it's gonna fit, but the way we want it, right? I'm gonna go ahead and zip it up and everything aligns pretty well so far. It's not fully grabbing that area. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this a little bit more. Great. I'm gonna pull this a little bit more. And the reason why I'm pulling from this corner is because it really has to hug each of this side. So once I have it pulled, you're gonna pull it as hard as you can. And if you have the trim tool, we're gonna go ahead, just enter it in, in this little area. And then we got this one more right here. And go all the way up. And there you go. Couple of things that I need to fix. All right, so, and this is probably the most difficult part you can see that there are two cuts down the center and you want to use a trim tool like this, which we sell with our kit. You're going to need to put a lot of work in it, but just know that it will fit. It will go right under and it does look really good at the end of the day because you can see that it goes right underneath and looks a lot more OEM compared to just sitting on top, right? And having those X cuts. Now that we have everything wrapped, uh, this is the fun part. We get to put everything back together. We're gonna go ahead and put this middle one down first and just line it up. All right, so now that that's on, I mean, it'll be a lot easier actually to remove both of them down. So just let it come down. And just like we did earlier, we're gonna lift this up. Use a T20. I have like a little ratchet screwdriver, really helpful. And then, Put that clip back into place. I'm gonna go ahead and put it up. That looks really good, nice and clean. Let's go ahead and put this since it's nearest to us. It's super easy, just push it down all the way. Same thing for this one. We're gonna push it down all the way. And then same thing for this. And there you go. All right, so I have the seat now on it. And before we do anything, we have to make sure that we clip this into place. 
So I have my wire right here. Let's go ahead and put it underneath. There's a clip, just one, in the Model Y. Clip it, hear the sound? There you go. So we're gonna go ahead and align the back part, but we're gonna push it in. And before you push it down, you're gonna use your fingers and you're gonna make sure the seat belts are aligned with the holes, okay? And once that is, you're gonna go ahead and push it in and down a little bit, okay? And you're gonna go all the way to the back first. And I use my knees to kind of push it forward like that. And then you can actually start pushing it down. And you can see the seat belts are very, very visible. And if you wanna test it, you can make sure, look at that. It works really well. The seat belts are visible. Just kind of use your fingers to kind of run through. And if there's a massive gap, that means that you probably have to push it in. But notice how it went all the way down and there should be no gap right here. So that's that for the rear seats. Let's go ahead and do the front. ahead and do the front seats and these are exactly the same so we're going to show you on the passenger side so before we get started what we need to do is remove the headrest and this is what actually holds this back plate okay i know there's a lot of give right here but there's two bars that go down that holds this in place there's also clips right at the bottom so we're going to go ahead and first remove this it'll come back out and then we're going to remove the two clips underneath the seat as we've shown you in the back seat when you do it you use a flathead this is going to be the same thing but it's actually a different mechanism, right? In the other one, you go through that little insert and then it pushes that in and you're able to remove it. In this case, you actually have to bring down the leather all the way down into this black part right here. And you'll see a metal bar like this. And this metal bar is what is holding that thing. So you're gonna go ahead and pry it out. And once you pry it out, until I can, uh, there you go. All right, let's bring it back up. And then you can just pull it and it just comes out. All right, because there's nothing holding at this point. And you can see right here, these two bars right here. This is where it's coming in and holding this in place. The clips, there's two on an elastic and it's a little bit challenging. And the way it works is it goes around and it has these little hooks like that. And it hooks onto the plastic little trim underneath. And now that this is removed, we can go ahead and start covering this up. The bottom part of the seat is relatively simple. Just like we did it with the rear seats, we do have to go through. This is where the seat kind of lies down. And you can see that this corner right here is right over here. So that's what we're going for. You really just need one of the lines. You don't necessarily need two. This strap is gonna go around this and then pull in the back side really hugging the seat down. And then these are gonna go underneath and it's gonna clip underneath and this is gonna make sure that it's not coming out as well. So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna go ahead and use our big needle and then go through this segment. When you do this, you wanna make sure that you're off at an angle. It's a lot easier to do this than the rear seats in my opinion. I'm gonna push it all the way. And then you see I'm not putting too much. I'm putting about like three or four inches. And the needle is out here. Just pull it through. The next is going to be, again, the same thing over here. We're gonna go ahead and pull through. Now that we have that process done, we're gonna go ahead and kind of loosely align all of the seat cover area. And we're gonna feed this through underneath. Okay. We're just gonna pull it on the other side. We're not gonna grab the elastic. Instead, we're gonna be grabbing the leather. And you can see it's already starting to fit a lot better, right? So we're gonna go ahead and go underneath right here and start going inside this trim. It's a pretty strong cord right here. It's a rubber cord. You're just gonna make sure that it goes all the way in. All right, we're gonna be doing the same thing. There's a small trim. 
and this. Just feed it all the way through. Okay. And now that it is, we're gonna go ahead and pull the strings down. And you can see in the front, as I pull it, it really puts the seat back into where it needs to go. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the bottom flap a little bit more as well. And then I'm gonna pull the hard cord that I got right here. So you can see that there's two cords. Before we tie anything, you can see that fitment is significantly better already. When I look outside, I don't wanna see any white right here. And you could kinda of go and make sure that it looks good. So now that I'm happy and I've confirmed that, we're gonna go ahead and tie the big elastic strap. I'm just gonna double knot it. All right, so now that we have that done, we have this one other cable right here, this line, and we're gonna be doing the same thing. And we're gonna go underneath. So now that we have that done, we have to clip everything else. So just grab one of these clips. You're gonna go ahead and just go through. And what you're looking for is just a plastic trim. You never wanna go on the actual wire or anything like that this is such an awkward my face is probably like backwards okay so here's the next one uh, one thing to notice notice how there is a cable running like this it just goes underneath that so that pretty much sums up the bottom one and then you can move on to this seat if you see the seam right here there's a double seam this is where it's going to go through right at the bottom part of that so we're gonna go ahead and grab our needle and make sure you split that right here. Go in between. You're just gonna go through. And this one's a lot easier. We're gonna go ahead and thread it through. Leave another four or five inches of thread and then go ahead and pull it out from the other side. Good deal. All right, let's go ahead and do the other one as well. And same thing right here. Now that we have those threads in, when you do this, be careful, because you don't want to unthread it. That sucks. You're going to go ahead and start at the top and make sure that it's over. And then we're going to go ahead and pull it down like so. And we're gonna go ahead and feed the bottom right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and pull this right here. And again, there's gonna be three of these, all right? One, two, three. So you wanna make sure that all of them, and then you got one more right here, and then you got one more right here. And now that we have pulled the bottom, we're gonna go ahead and put this into place. You're gonna pull straight back. And what this does, you'll see the seat kind of tightened up. And now that we're at the back, we're gonna go ahead just fit it a little bit better as well. There you go. My circles right here line up perfectly. I'm pretty happy with the top alignment, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, tighten this a little bit. We're gonna pull all these segments right here, all these elastics, and this will allow it to really pull everything together, right? So I got a bunch of these clips. We give you a lot. And it's gonna go same thing that we've been doing. And you wanna force it, not like crazy, but you wanna just make sure that there's enough. And what I like to do is um, just make sure that it's pulling in different evenly around the side. Like if you have it all the way up here, don't put this right here. Put it at the same area, right? You wanna make sure that it's pulling down in this case. We're gonna go ahead and do this one as well. Uh, one thing I also want to show is if you notice I try to put it here this little plastic clip is very very flimsy you don't want to put it here you want to put it on the yellow which is a lot more sturdier one again reminder is never to put any of these clips on the cable itself stay away from the metal ones because these are actually um, the areas where the back seat cover is going to go in
Everything looks good on the back. Let's go ahead and inspect it in the front. So uh, we got one more little piece to do. This is again, a little bit different from the back seats. It's a lot bigger, okay? So just keep that in mind. You cannot, um, you cannot share the two, right? Because they're different sizes. So for this, you're gonna go ahead and insert it from the top. And if you look, this little circle stitch right here, that's always gonna be the front. You're gonna pull it as far as you can. We're gonna go ahead and focus on the, the little inserts first. So go ahead and pull in. And then down. And there you go. So now that we have all components, let's go ahead and put the seat back. The main thing that you wanna keep in mind is these two hooks. These two hooks go into this metal insert right here. The other thing is this side right here is gonna hook into this metal right here. So when you're pushing it down, it's a metal bracket that goes here. It kind of goes in like, like so. This one, the main thing is it just needs to be in the right position where when this goes down, it goes all the way through. So notice how I go from the bottom and then go all the way through and then it goes straight into this metal. Just make sure that they're both visible. Yep, they are. And there you go. You're gonna make sure the seats are down. I wanna push this in, okay? You want it pretty inserted all the way. And once you insert it all the way, you'll feel it with your hand. There you go. You should hear a click when you go all the way down and it is locked. Congratulations, you're almost done. You just have one more seat to go. But before we kind of end this video, one thing I want to clarify is it is recommended that you do steam the seats after installation. So we're gonna put a video right here that individual made. What you wanna do is get a steamer and you could get really any sort of fabric steamer, but you wanna put a towel on top and steam on it, right? Cause you don't want direct steam on the seat itself and you don't, you don't wanna wet it, but get a big towel and then steam on it and then kind of go over the whole thing a few more passes and that should be good to go. That'll have enough heat right here. I would avoid using a heat gun. That's too much of a direct heat. And that's why like steam is a lot more indirect. So once you do that, a lot of some of the areas that might not fit as perfectly or maybe has some wrinkles will start to kind of dissipate and it'll fit a lot better. So make sure you do that. It is, it's not, you know, required, but if you're unhappy with some of those areas, that's how you get rid of it.